Welcome back to the Daytona 500 post race show on Fox presented by Sprint. Matt Kenseth hoists the Harley Earl trophy. Matt and Katie celebrate. What a wonderful moment. For our Fox technical crew, it's already been a 19 hour day. Thank you so much for all your efforts, but boy, it's been worth it. What a wild, wild 500 miles of excitement. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, the race, the race had never been rained out. It gets rained out. So we're going to run it Monday and we're going to run it at, you know, start at noon and then we're going to start at seven. And, and we thought it wasn't going to make it all the way because it might rain again. And then, then Montoya goes over there and crashes into one of the jet dryers. And we got this huge fire and is the track going to be okay? Will they be able to fix it and can we get back racing and then to have the great finish that we had but those two Fords Larry they've been fast the whole time down here and uh, Matt Kins has pulled it off in car number 17 I kind of like that yeah I think we <laughs> saw shortly after we arrived at Speed Weeks well over a week ago that if you're going to win this 500 you were probably going to have to beat one of those Roush Fenway drivers Matt Kins Greg Biffle combined led 93 laps almost half of this race but as I said at the top of the show we truly didn't know until they came off turn four and had that little drag race back to the checkered flag. That's right. Well, the 36 hours of Daytona is in the books, and we're ready to go to Phoenix. Let's get out of Chris Devota. I know this is not the way Danica Patrick would have scripted her Spring Cup Series debut, but champions like Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon, fared similar fate. When you go home tonight, what do you take with you? Frustration, or do you feel like there's progression? Any lap that I turn is progression, that's for sure. That's why I was so proud of everyone working so hard. I mean, they were working hard uh, to get me back on the track. Was there much to gain uh, as far as position-wise? No. But what there was to gain was for me to get the experience of running out there. I ran in packs for a while. The car felt, eh, it's a little bent up, so honestly it didn't feel perfect. But um, so as they got later and later in the race, I just didn't want to play a part. You know, I didn't want to have an influence on it. I didn't want something to happen to it or break and shoot across the track. So, and then with the end there, I, I didn't think we were going to get the first green wide checkered in, but we did. And so it was like very perplexing in my mind. Do I want to get up there? Cause I got nothing to gain, but I also have nothing to lose. And honestly, I think that, uh, I think that I picked up a lot of good tips and I just wish that the beginning of the race could have been a nice single file line like it was when I got back out there, but it wasn't. And honestly, that's my lesson to learn maybe is that just well, right off that first little bit if you're not up front. Um, so unfortunately, we got another crash go daddy car, but um, just like the last time, it did finish the race, but just um, in that darn 38th position. We look forward to seeing you in Darlington. Guys, we'll do TV first and come back to Let's take a look at the unofficial results of this Daytona 500. Something interesting about Matt Kenseth, Michael Waltrip. You know what? He led his first lap tonight on lap one number 146. Back when he won in 2009, led his first lap on 146. Denny Hamlin led the most laps, and Paul Menard got his best Daytona 500 finish. They're great to see Mark Martin get a top 10 finish there. Kyle Busch couldn't battle to the front like he did last week in the shootout. Terry Labonte, two-time champion, grabs a top 10 finish. We saw Ricky Stenhouse mix it up in the trial over there late finishes 20th. Anybody from 15 on back had something to do with some kind of melee on the racetrack. Regan Smith did not run in the 24 spot. He was up front most of the time, but finished up there. Your defending champion, uh, Trevor Bain, finishes 35th. And there's Danica in 38. We just talked to her, and when she was getting ready to leave, they said, we'll see you in Darlington. I bet she thought, oh, no, this place has been tough enough. I got to go to Darlington next? So two wins in the last four Daytona 500s for Matt Kenseth. And of course, the cat in the hat, Jack Roush, was with him for the whole ride. we got to take a quick break. We'll be back to Daytona with much more in just a moment. Stay with us, everybody. You're watching NASCAR on Fox. Promotional considerations provided by... Aerial coverage by Goodyear. Everything we've learned making tires for the proving grounds of NASCAR inspires what we roll into yours. Goodyear, more driven. 
And back in the Hollywood Hotel, John Roberts alongside of Michael Waltrip. And boy, what a wild couple of days. We we're supposed to start this thing way back on Sunday afternoon. Here we are finishing on a Tuesday, Michael. <laughs> but what a start to the season. Yeah, and you saw Matt Kenseth, obviously elated with his second Daytona 500 trophy. Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Greg Biffle, they seem pretty happy. But you know, tomorrow, they're going to hurt. You're <laughs> that close to winning our greatest event, and you come up short. They're going to turn on Fox News in the morning. They're going to set Matt Kenseth. Everywhere they look, Matt Kenseth, Matt Kenseth. And they're going to be thinking, what could we have done? How could I have moved out? How could I have done something to be setting where Matt is right now? And what would you have called us if we said uh, that Juan Pablo Montoya would hit a jet dryer? Well, I wouldn't have not thought that could have been good, <laughs> but I'm telling you, the pavement they use here, Daryl said it best, I want to pave my driveway with that stuff. I don't have a driveway, but if I did, I'd want to use that stuff because amazing, it settled, it got it lit up, but yet they, they put it out, and away we went racing. Wow, is all we really can say. <laughs> Coming up next, uh, tonight on Fox, it's your late local news, except on the West Coast. And Sunday, it's the Subway Fresh Fit 500 coming your way from Phoenix. Then, of course, next, Sunday, uh, next on Speed, we have the Race Hub that will wrap up the entire day. Again, the Subway Fresh Fit uh, 500 is coming your way from Phoenix. Race Hub coming up next on Speed. And also, we want to congratulate Matt Kenseth and Greg Biffle and Roush Fenway Racing once again for a huge win in this 54th Daytona 500 that showed us just a little bit of everything that racing had to offer. And what a way to start the 2012 season. So long, everybody. We'll see you next weekend in Phoenix. and gone aflame. Well, I've seen a lot of things, but I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Matt Kenseth wins the Daytona 500.